Eric's up with Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Coffee Time with Schnell. Gonna be blasting some pathologist. And trying out some coffee I received in the mail. Thanks to Liz. Heavy hails as usual. Now this is called just Hardcore coffee. Strong coffee. Are you hardcore? Intense coffee only for the diehard. Intense coffee only the diehard coffee drinker can handle. Best used if best used by 81723. Nice packaging if you're a fan of like Slipknot and stuff like that. I mean, I like that logo, but uh, are you hardcore? Is this pro wrestling in the 90s? No, but caution handle with care. I do like the packaging though on the actual coffee bag, but uh, this just came off kind of like uh, something you would see at Hot Topic, like work hard, play hard, drink hardcore coffee, I don't know, I just don't think that's the best slogan, but it's very tasty, and we have a what looks to be handcrafted uh, a skull mug. There's no logo or label, so I'm guessing this was DIY, hand uh, made ceramically. I actually made one of these in a uh, Twelfth grade in uh, I think it was called 3D design or something like that. It was some art. It was some art class. But this is their dark this their dark roast and US USDA organic ground coffee. Sixteen ounces. And uh, roasted and packed by Copper Moon Coffee Company, Lafayette, Indi Indiana. Copyright 2019. Ingredients Organic Coffee. Again, I kind of wish they would give you a little bit more information. Like, where are these beans from? Uh, you know, like, what region of the world? Hardcore coffee is created using the best, strongest organic coffee beans in the world. Our, our commitment and uncompromising approach to perfectly roasting these beans creates a smooth yet intense coffee only the diehard coffee drinker can handle. Are you hardcore? ECW, I think you have a lawsuit on your hands. Well... WWE, but the actual, like, logo is, like, kind of 3, well, the way it's printed, it feels 3D, because it's, like, right where that, like, uh, I'm not sure what it's even called, like, uh, these ones don't have it, these don't have it. Uh, this does, but, um, I'm not sure what these are called, but, like, a lot of coffee bags have them, but the way this is, it feels like the design is three-dimensional. I don't know if that was on purpose, but it's kind of cool, but, um, you know, I would not say this is 
you know, the strongest coffee in the world or anything like that. And, yeah, I put a little dab of creamer in there and my cinnamon. But still, I could drink. I, I made a pretty, you know, strong cup here. And I, I could drink this no problem. It's really good. There's, it's lacking that er, that earthy taste that the um, kicking horse really, really was prominent in. Like this was really, really, you know, just straight down the middle, a good cup of coffee. Like that's what I feel about the kicking horse coffee. The four by four horsepower. It's just really good, straightforward. Just if you want a good cup of coffee, there you go. This, you know, it tastes like coffee. Yes, I mean, you know, it's definitely better than Folgers or any of that nonsense, but. I would not say, you know, you don't have to be some diehard coffee, you know, fiend to enjoy this. Like, I would actually say this is kind of tame. You could probably get a stronger cup of coffee at Dunkin' Donuts. Like, as long as you know what you're ordering, you know what I mean? I mean, it's good, though, but I'm just saying, if you're going to use all these, like, slogans and, like, buzzwords, you got you got to deliver. If you really want to make, you know, like, are you hardcore? Like, if, if, when my brain's thinking hardcore, I think of pro wrestling, like, like death matches and stuff. So this needs to be the equivalent of somebody like Schlack throwing a bundle of light tubes wrapped in barbed wire into my face. You get what I mean? I just got all that hair in my mouth. Ugh. I like the cup though, because like you could see it's imperfections, like you could tell this is like one of one, I think, or maybe the person made a few. I don't know. It just kind of reminded me of like Temple of Doom. I was like, oh, that's cool, and I do really like that. It's very Halloweeny. But, like, I just, I really like the spine. That's badass. Thank you, Liz. But when it comes to hardcore coffee, strong carb coffee, dark roast, this is definitely not hardcore. <laughs> I mean, it's coffee. It shouldn't be hardcore, period. But still... People like strong coffee, but this definitely, it's smooth, and, you know, like I said, it's good. It kind of, to be honest, the kicking horse was stronger than the hardcore. Like, definitely. By a long shot. Honestly, like if somebody I knew never drank coffee before, this would be a good cup to give them. And I know it says strong coffee, you know, etc. Hardcore coffee is created using the best, strongest organic coffee beans in the world. Our commitment and uncompromised. Uncomfortable. I can't read this morning. 
our commitment and uncompromising approach to perfectly roasting these beans creates a smooth yet intense coffee only the die hard coffee drinker can handle. Are you hardcore? And that's, you know, all you really get. I'm guessing on the website, it probably tells you where the beans and stuff are from. But, like, when I'm seeing, you know, caution labels and all this stuff. Caution. Intense coffee. Only the die-hard coffee drinker can handle. I'm sorry, but I gotta call you out on that. Nah. This is definitely... Like, I'm already, like, done this cup. But, I'll show you what the uh, actual ground coffee looks like. From the volcanic container. It's real nice and dark, but... Real strong smell, but eh, it's just, it's not something I would call hardcore, but it's still good. It's one of those things. They're just using, you know, that's just the name of their company. But if you're going to, you know, say this is your, you know, intense coffee only the die-hard coffee drinker can handle. That's what they used to call false advertising. You know, like that movie, The Never-Ending Story? If you watch The Simpsons, you get that joke. <laughs> but, um, yeah, when it comes to hardcore coffee company and their strong coffee dark roast, or, well, just their dark roast period. It's good. It's tasty. But it's not hardcore. I'm sorry. It's just not. Like, if it was, you would, I'd be like, whoa. You know, like, I've had some coffee in the past on here. Like, legitimately. And I'm not talking shit. If you really want a hardcore, brutal cup of coffee, go to the dollar store, and just get some dollar store coffee, and you'll, you'll see what hardcore really is, it, it's like the basement show compared to, like, playing, like, walking, like, yeah, it's, it's night and day. And the only difference is taste, though. But, like, if you're actually looking for, like, the most brutal coffee, go to the dollar store and just get that shit. It's poison. But if you're looking for some good taste in coffee, that, you know, it, it says it's strong, but I... I really, really like this black track stuff black wax i keep calling it black tracks like black like vinyl see all the logos like a record and stuff it's black wax cafe but i i keep calling it black tracks like i feel like that's a better name i, I don't know i'm sorry but like i don't know why i keep like messing up this company's name because I just feel like black tracks sounds better and like tracks like spelled without the K. Like, I don't know, for some reason that just sounds like a better name to me, but that's just my opinion. So, are you hardcore? Well, you know, I would compare this to like. You know, alright, so, 
right now when it comes to the coffee I have that I know is like strong. So this is like I would say your heat creeper. And here comes 1992 Dismember. And yes, this coffee has nothing to do with death metal aside from the title. There's no death metal artwork. That's my one complaint about the death metal blend of uh, coffee from uh, Black Wax is that you took the death metal name, one of my favorite genres of music, if you're watching this channel, you obviously know that, but instead of reaching out to get like a death metal artist to draw you a logo, come on, what is that shit? This is like, to quote Lars Ulrich, a stock cosmetic design right here. Come on. If you're gonna, you know, go all in with, like, coffee, you really need a sick label. Like, even the hardcore coffee has, like, you know, its own label and stuff, and, like, it's kind of... It's alright. It's cool for what it is, you know? Like I said, it's kind of like the hot topic of coffee that I've been drinking. Like, logo-wise, you couldn't catch me dead with that on a t-shirt, though. I'm sorry. I don't, like, I'm not a fan of that type of stuff. But, using one of my favorite, and especially because this is from, like, Indianapolis, like, there's plenty of death metal artists you could have reached out to to help you come up with the logo for this label and stuff that's like super sick and affordable. Like, yeah, 100%. But, you know, if you're looking for a good cup of coffee that's not too strong but still has a... Well, you know what, it's just, again, this is a pretty straightforward cup of coffee from Hardcore Coffee. And if this is their strong dark roast, and you're looking for some strong coffee, I'm going to have to warn you to move on. I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is sometimes, like... You might be able to get a better cup of coffee at Dunkin' Donuts just getting plain black. If it's a fresh pot, yeah. But as you saw, I did, you know, put, you know, a little bit of creamer in and stuff just because I want to enjoy this 100% the way I would actually drink it, like, Sometimes I just want to have a straight cup of black, but sometimes, you know, I want to put some other stuff in it, but even, like, straight up black, like, hold on. Real quick, just to demonstrate. It's really not hardcore. See, like, you know, sometimes you're like, oh, but like, it's nothing like that. It's just a good cup of coffee. And this is the plain black. Good stuff. Boom. And now I have more. But, thank you Liz for sending this. I'm glad I get to go over some of this coffee with you folks. I 
know I really don't know that much about the business and stuff, but I'm just going off my personal taste and stuff, and especially when it comes to packaging and whatnot, I'm very picky about that type of stuff. And yeah, cosmetically, you guys need a new graphic designer. But um, yeah, the actual coffee is pretty delicious. It's just, I would definitely rebrand this as, you know, I'd get rid of all this, like, caution stuff and, you know, warning how strong it is. It's, it's really, you know, it's like the Texas is the reason compared to sheer terror, you know, like. There's plenty other gnarly independent coffee companies out there that do have really brutal coffee. Like, I really like that true cult coffee, but, uh, you know, when they sponsored the channel, just the way stuff went, just it didn't work out the way I thought it was going to. But that was some good shit. I mean, I would like to try some more again, but when, when they sponsored the channel, that was some fire. That was strong shit. And I'm not just saying that, like, that was really good stuff. But thank you again to Liz for this cup. We've been listening to the pathologist. I know it's hard to hear. But that's just because this setup sucks. I'm working on it. But um, yesterday I finished a guest vocal spot for an upcoming 7-inch. And finished a demo with a member of Time Ghoul. Well, finished a demo track. So, yeah. I'm very stoked. But... When it comes to hardcore coffee and their dark roast, keep trying, folks. And, you know, I just have to say, if you're looking for a nice cup of coffee, you know, it gets the job done, but I, I would keep moving on. Definitely check out, like, that Kicking Horse company and... Like I said, I really like this Black Wax Cafe. It's just, I really don't like the label. I mean, again, if you're going to call your coffee death metal and then use, like, a fucking speed metal slash, like, thrashy font. Poser-ass coffee. I'm sorry, but ser seriously, you don't want to come off as posers, people. That's some, that's some poser shit. Same for you, hardcore coffee. Like, come on. That's like the equivalent of wearing a tap out t-shirt. Just, come on. It's not. ECW in the 90s. But again, that's just packaging. The coffee itself is delicious. But it's not super strong. So don't go into it thinking, you know, oh, this is going to be gnarly. Like, no. That's why I, I, you know, as much as I don't like the logo. This is still delicious and extremely affordable. $8. So that's fucking definitely worth it. But yeah, if I was Black Wax Cafe, I would hit up like Shigoth Kinetics, R Rusted Winds. I, th I think he changed his name actually. Like Uber Colt. I would definitely get Uber Colt. Like, he would do... So, oh my god, it would be amazing. Seriously, Black Wax Cafe. Hit up my friend Ryan Haley Art. I'm sure he could work out a good deal. 
like it invokes a really sick death metal coffee design that actually fits the coffee. Trust me. Like, if somebody from that company is watching this, I will give you a list of artists and trust me, packaging matters. I know you folks know this better than I do, but yeah, just to me, that packaging just screams poser. Like, you folks probably know nothing about death metal, or you do, but based on this, no. Uh-uh. This is like, you know, you trying to tell me Rings of Saturn is better than Death Human. No. It's just not. But, otherwise than that, yeah, that's some good fucking shit. But, the Hardcore Dark Roast, eh, I have to give it a 3 out of 10 for strength. For taste, though, 7 out of 10, it's got a good taste to it, it's just, I can't put my finger, like, it's not earthy, it's not velvety, it's just coffee, and that's what they were going for, and that's what a black cup of coffee is supposed to taste like, but I love when you get, like, certain beans and certain flavors that you don't really expect, so... That's my only, you know, real disappointment was it wasn't like, it was just, eh, you know? It's like when you eat an eighth of mushrooms and it still doesn't knock you into the stratosphere and you're just like, god damn it, I have to eat more of these. And then before you know it, that eighth kicks in. <laughs> but this isn't like that at all. It's just chill. So, that's what I think of Hardcore Coffee's Dark Roast. Thank you again, Liz, for making this Coffee Time episode possible. And if you made it this long into the video, you're a fucking maniac, and I love you. Listen to Fetid Inferno. It's probably sold out of fetid gear, but I got this on their first East Coast tour with Cerebral Rock. I love this long sleeve. It's one of my favorites. And if you want to know why my email is what it is, these are the infamous brown pants. Now, I got these in 10th grade. By that time, they had already been worn for 20 years prior by an ex-UPS employee. There used to be a tag. It's completely gone. But that used to have his name on it and stuff. But these are straight up UPS uh, I, I thought it was written on the side. <laughs> Sorry. It has an actual pant company. I thought it said United States. I think it does say United States. Yeah, it does. Here. <laughs> hey, that's sick. But I've had these for so long. They used to be pants, then they got stuck in my chain. Uh, I think I was in California, they got stuck in a, a chain and I had to cut them into shorts. These things happen, but now you know. And knowing is half the battle. And as always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. Hails. Come on.